hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to authenticate your email domain on shopify let's begin now the next thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in shopify i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Authenticating your email domain on Shopify ensures that your emails are sent from Shopify. For example, order confirmations, marketing emails do not end up in spam folders and appear more professional. But the first thing that you need to understand is that you need a custom email domain. All right. That means it should represent your business. All right. For example, um, gplabs at dplabs.com. You cannot use or authenticate generic email services like Gmail or Yahoo because they fall in their personal email. All right. In my case, I am using an email domain from Squarespace. All right. If you are interested, we have a separate video on how to authenticate domain email that you might want to check in our channel. Basically, I've shown how to authenticate a domain email provided by a hosting uh, service like Google Workspace. So you can choose your own email hosting for providers such as Microsoft, Google Workspace, and a lot more. All right. So from here, the next thing is we need to go to the Shopify's admin dashboard, and that's going to be the settings. All right. That falls in the uh, bottom left corner. I want you to click on it. Now, you will be forwarded to the general settings and we need to change the store email address. By default, the store contact address is the email address that you use when you sign up or for Shopify. All right, so the store contact address is what Shopify uses to contact you and where you receive your files when you export the product, order, or customer lists. If you want Shopify to contact you with a new email address, then of course we need to update that information. And from the general, we need to click the store details section right here. You see there is like a pencil icon. I want you to click click this where we can find the store name. You see the store name is this. You can put in your store phone if you wanted. But of course, the most important thing is we need to put in the domain email that we have all right in your case if you found a uh, email hosting provider you might want to put them here so i'm gonna type in our um, email domain here to be authenticated And of course, click the save options. And as you can see, it says here, you will receive messages about your store. For sender email, go to the notification settings, which we are going to do in a bit. All right. But for now, let's click this save. Now, after saving it. Now, we need to go to the sender email address. How? Go to the notification section here. Click on it and then you see the sender email is the email your store uses to send emails to your customers. And of course, we just have to type in the email that we have provided in the general store details. All right, so I'm going to type it in. And click the send or resend verification. All right now you just have to go to this email again how do we do it it's simple you just have to log in to your email hosting provider in my case that's going to be a google workspace because i have integrated google workspace from my squarespace account so from here once i've logged in all right i just have to click the gmail section here and i would see a new email from the inbox and click the link for the verification from Shopify. And all I, all I have to do 
is in your case you just have to click on the verify email so it doesn't matter if it's google workspace or a squarespace or any email hosting provider you should be able to receive a verification email from shopify regarding about your email hosting provider all right and from here just click on the verify email that green button wait for it and then boom all right then the next thing is again in the notifications tab or section right here you might want to click the staff notific notifications you can notify staff members about new order events if you click on it there it should be a recipient here and you click on the add recipient and add the new email address which is going to be your email hosted provider in my case i'm going to type this in and you might want to check all the notifications here right all orders all on orders and even shop location and i click on the add recipient once it's done i want you to go back you see there is an option here that says um, customer notifications about orders and account events for example if you wanted to click on the order confirmation right you would notice that there is like a said test code right here so for example for the order quadruple nines confirm and at the very bottom you would notice that the email has been authenticated because it is our sender email which is the hosting provider all right remember you cannot use your personal email address here like gmail and yahoo mail so you might want to um choose an email hosting provider or domain email hosting provider and that could give you this all right and of course if you wanted to send a test send a test right it will be sent here all right click on the send button and that's that you also have an option to enter the code if you want to customize the email templates page you also have an option for that all right so you have all these sections that could help you now if you are using a third-party domain then you need to authenticate your sender email address to prevent your email emails messages from being flagged as spam and to ensure that your email messages are delivered to your customers how you just have to authenticate your sender email address for example you're using a different domain party uh, provider just go here click the connect existing domain and we have a full length uh, video for this but i'm just gonna quick you a, a, a very quick rundown for example this is our domain our third party domain click on next all right and all i have to do is put all this information to your hosting provider all right so this is my domain right here gplast.com and it's powered by squarespace and again we have a separate video for this but in the essence click the domains here on the upper right corner click the domains you just have to put in the cname and gmark record all right click the gplast.com and hover down here all I have to do is create a record, which is, remember, just switch back very quickly to Shopify. You just have to ha add all these, all right? Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.